All right, we're gonna make some macho nacho casserole. We're starting with two cups of chicken that I chopped up. Put it in a bowl there. And we have some instant white rice we're gonna to add to the mix. Just drops in there nice and- Bricked like, up. Like, like a nice block of rice. All right, once we got that mixed in there, we're gonna add a cup of frozen corn. Get that kind of mixed in there. All righty. And we'll start adding some of the liquid ingredients. So we got one can of cream of chicken. We're gonna plop in there. Oh, come you on. gotta really jiggle it. There we go. Nice. And then we got some green chilies. I'm gonna dump the whole thing in there. And also some diced Hunt's tomatoes. So now we're getting a nice big old mixture in there mm -hmm. for this macho nacho casserole. That nice and mixed in there. Are you more of a white rice or a brown rice guy? Uh, depends. I mean, sushi, I like it white. Um, even Mexican, I like it brown. Mm. I sometimes like brown rice with like teriyaki stuff. You know, to each their own. Mm -hmm. This is looking like a pretty good that mixture good. right now. We're gonna also add to add a little bit of more liquid. We need half a cup of water. Okay. It's not too clumpy in there. Mmm, it smells good. It does smell good. And we're gonna have one tablespoon of taco seasoning that we're gonna. Oh, I'm about to. There it is. One tablespoon of taco seasoning. That one's clumped up too. It is, it's all clumped up. Now this is what the recipe said to do. I usually, you know, cook the um, seasoning into the meat, but um, we'll see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Smelling good, it's looking like it'll mix in there well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you learn this recipe on Google or? Yeah, I learned it, um, uh, it's a great site that has like these really affordable, budget-friendly recipes. Um, that I've, I've found some pretty great recipes. And finally, we're gonna add half a cup of sharp cheddar shredded cheese. I'm gonna kinda eyeball it. This is a two cup mm -hmm. bag. So, probably about right there. Kinda mix that in there. All right, so let's dump this into the, got a little casserole container here. Perfect. Yeah, oh yeah, pumped out there pretty good. All right, kind of flatten that out, make sure it's nice and even. All right, it's nice and even. So yeah, we're gonna put this in, oh, we got it set at 350. We're gonna put it in there for about 30 minutes. Put in 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and check on it. Alright, let's check on this macho nacho. Look at that. Looking nice and cooked. Look like it's set up pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we gotta do an extra part of the recipe. So we got one cup of crushed up tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Just gonna spread it all over the top. Give it a nice crunchy layer on top. Mm. And then on top of that, and on top of that, we're gonna put another cup of the shredded cheese because that was not a whole lot of cheese in the mixture itself. So let's just spread it over. Mm. Don't burn your fingers. Uh, yeah, gotta be careful. All right. Now we're gonna throw this back in the oven for about Five to seven minutes. Okay. That should be ready. 
All right, let's check out this crunchy goodness. Mm. It kind of reminds me of my mom's nachos. She would like do chips and then put cheese on top and we'd put them in the oven and they're all crispy and cheesy. Oh yeah. All right, let's give this macho nacho casserole a try. Mmm, looks moist. It does look moist. It's like got the moist and the crunchy. The crunch the on best. top, yeah. Oh yeah. That looks nice. Good look at that. Mm. Alright, let's give it a bite. I want to get the crunchy and the bottom part. That really is a good casserole. There you go, folks.